admins. Welcome back to this month's edition of What's New for G Suite Admins. I'm Ryan from the G Suite product marketing team, and I'm excited to share with you the feature updates from the month of February. Let's get started. Here's our headline news. As you know, businesses these days are more diverse, dynamic, and distributed than ever before. Decisions have to be made fast, teams need to align quickly, and time can't be wasted on repetitive manual tasks. G Suite makes this possible. It transforms the way teams collaborate with intelligent tools that help you solve problems faster and focus your time on work that matters. Hangouts Chat makes it easy to collaborate efficiently so teams can make faster decisions. Chat is now available as a core G Suite service, available in all editions except government. With team chat rooms and threaded conversations, powerful search functionality, and intelligent bots that connect workflows and speed up tasks, you can work on projects from one spot. Hangouts Chat is compatible with the classic version of Hangouts and works with your existing contacts. And Chat has deep integrations with other G Suite apps and built-in security to meet retention, e-discovery, and regulatory compliance needs for enterprises. Chat comes equipped with 25 bots to help speed up workflows ranging from finance and human resources to CRM, project management, and more. These bots have been developed by popular enterprise application companies like Cenefits, Salesforce, and Kayak. A chatbot is a piece of software that conducts a conversation with users. Chatbots simulate how a human would behave as a conversational partner and can be used to provide customer service or deliver other informational services. There are also other bots that integrate directly with G Suite apps, like the at Google Drive bot, which lets you know when files are shared with you, comments are made, and people request access to your docs. To learn more, check out the G Suite Learning Center. The newly launched Hangouts Chat gives G Suite admins the governance and controls you need to manage and secure your organization's data, including full support in Google Vault. Vault supports your organization's archiving and e-discovery needs and becomes available for G Suite, business, enterprise, and education editions. You can now set retention policies that apply to all Hangouts chat messages, including those sent directly and those sent in rooms. You can also set custom retention rules for specific organizational units. In addition to setting retention policies, you can now place legal holds on your employees' Hangout chat conversations, whether they take place via direct message or in rooms. Finally, you can now search, preview, and export your employees' Hangout chat messages. To learn more, check out the Vault Help Center. Let's take a look at our admin updates. Drive File Stream lets you stream files directly from the cloud to your computer and select files to be available offline. Based on your feedback, We've added several new features. Your users can now pause Drive file stream syncing, so local changes to Google Drive will not be uploaded and new versions of files made available offline will not download. As an admin, you can now customize the content cache location for Drive file stream to any directory on a connected APFS, HFS Plus, or NTFS file system. As an admin, you can now limit the bandwidth of Drive file stream for uploads and downloads. We've added a feature that allows you as an admin to customize default letter drive on Windows, the mount point on Mac OS, and proxy settings. For more details on Drive File Stream, see our Help Center. Using Google Mobile Management, you can manage, secure, and monitor mobile devices. To best protect your organization and serve your employees, you need increased control over the applications running on their mobile devices. With this launch, you can manage permissions that Android apps request at runtime, as opposed to at installation time, also known as runtime permissions. This feature will only be available for apps running in work profiles or on company-owned devices. Google Mobile Management is included with all G Suite editions. An app requests permissions at runtime when it's attempting to access sensitive data, like a user's location, contacts, calendar, microphone, or storage. These permissions have to be explicitly granted by the user at the moment, and not just when the app is installed. Android apps will only request permissions at runtime if the device is running Android 6.0 or higher, and the app itself targets API level 23 or higher. To help you better manage runtime permissions for Android apps, we're interested in two new settings in the admin console. The first setting gives you options for managing runtime permissions on all Android apps. Let's go take a look in the admin console. From the home page, click Device Management, and on the left side, click Android Settings. Then click Apps and Data Sharing. Under Apps and Data Sharing, scroll down to see Runtime Permissions. Here you have options to manage runtime permissions, including allowing runtime permissions automatically, denying runtime permissions automatically, 
or prompting the user to choose whether to grant runtime permissions. The last setting is on by default, but here you can change the setting at any time. The second setting is under the App Distribution and Configuration options provided when an Android app is whitelisted. This setting allows you to manage runtime permissions for that specific app. For example, you can forbid the app to access your user's device location or contacts. Where there are conflicts, this setting will take priority over the app-wide settings mentioned before. Last year, we launched basic mobile management for iOS, which gives you the ability to manage employees' iOS devices even if those employees don't set up MDM agents or profiles. We're now bringing this same feature to Android. You as an admin can now mandate basic security measures on the Android devices your employees bring to work without requiring them to install Google Apps Device Policy app on their devices. Basic mobile management makes life easier for your users as well because it allows them to access their corporate accounts without risking their personal data being wiped. Let's take a look in the admin console at how to enable basic security on Android devices employees bring to work. From the home page, click Device Management. and the left side, click Setup, then click Mobile Management. Under Enable Mobile Management, select Basic. When Basic Mobile Management is enabled, you can enforce a device screen lock on devices running Android L or earlier only if those devices have Google Apps Device Policy app installed wipe a corporate account but not the entire device, and view and search and manage their device inventory. As a G Suite administrator, one of your most important jobs is to keep your organization's data from falling into the wrong hands. Gmail Data Loss Prevention, or DLP, helps you do just that, by allowing you to scan and systematically take actions on your users' inbound and outbound email traffic by quarantining, rejecting, or modifying messages. With this launch, we're improving the capability of attachment compliance to prevent data loss in your organization. Gmail DLP is available for G Suite Enterprise and also G Suite Business Editions that are licensed after March 31st, 2017. Let's take a look at how to set up a predefined content detector in the Admin Console to describe the content you want to search for in each message. From the home page, click Apps, G Suite, and then click Gmail. Scroll down to the bottom and click Advanced Settings. On the Advanced Settings page, scroll down to the Compliance section and hover over Attachment Compliance. In the options that appear, click Configure, or if the setting is already configured, click Edit or Add Another. In the window that appears under Section 2, click Add in the Expressions box. Select the box next to Also Match Files Based on File Format to scan the contents of the attachment to determine its file type. Finally, click Save. With single sign-on, or SSO, users can access all of their enterprise cloud applications after signing in just one time. With more than 800 applications with pre-integrated SSO support in our third-party apps catalog already, we're adding an additional 12 applications, including 15.5, For Me, and Desk Pro, just to name a few. You can find a full list of our pre-integrated applications as well as instructions for installing them in the Help Center. Well, that's it for this month's updates. Check out our G Suite release calendar and What's New newsletter to stay informed. You can also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and save the playlists. And if you want to learn more about these updates, follow the links in the video descriptions to dig deeper. This is Ryan with What's New for G Suite Admins, February edition. Thanks for watching.